Let us continue our journey along the path of Western Hyperbole. As we entered the Capena Gate, in front of us stretched the ancient Mucha Valley, where the Circus Maximus was built. Immediately to the right, in front of the current Casino Bocca Baduli, the scenic backdrop of Settizoni Rose, located at the foot of the Palatine Hill, on the southern east side, overshadowed by the Imperial Palace, perched on the hill summit, especially the substructures from the Severian period, which were constructed to expand the surface of the already densely built hill. Today, there are cypress trees whose green canopy help visually identify the original location of the monument. The Settizonio was a monumental facade of an infilm resembling Vitruvian theatrical scenery, with multiple tiers of columns. It was commissioned by Emperor Septimius Severus in 203 AD and served as the frontage of the Domus Severiana, which faceted the Appian Way. The Domus and Settizonio were additions made by Septimius Severus to the Domus Augustana, located to the south of the Palatine Stadium, as part of redevelopment of the southern and southern eastern slopes of the hill. The building is known from a plan of the former Urbis Severiana and Renaissance drawings. The facade was 89 meters long, 300 Roman feet, and resembled theatrical stage fronts. It featured three semicircular niches and had two square based projections at each end. The frontage comprised three colonnaded levels with increasing height as you move it upward. Inside the niches were a circular based fountain, each with a single basin to collect the water at the bottom. Its design drew inspiration from earlier structures like the Nymphium in Miletus dating to the Trojanic period and the Nymphium in Aspendos from the Adrianic era. These, in turn, were influenced by the scenography of theatrical buildings that originally featured water displays. By the end of the 8th century, the building was already in ruins, and what remained of it became one of the baronial fortresses of Rome. The definitive demolition likely took place under Pope Sixtus V, who repurposed the marbles for various constructions in Rome. The valuable colored marbles were used for the tomb of Pope Pius V and his tomb in the Nativity Chapel of Santa Maria Maggiore. In this short preview video, starting from Porta Capena in the Serbian walls, we evoke the memory of the lost Septizonium. Stay tuned for the next full video to uncover the mystery of the cave of Romulus and Remus, discovered 16 years ago and then forgotten again.